what's up guys it's the mobile Asian gamer here and i've been wanting to make this video for a long time but i've just been putting it up but like the title says this is going to be my tutorial on how to make your own boss filter now um i actually uh using this sort of like strategy and sort of technique i actually made my own filter and i made about like 500k off of it uh it was pretty good but then it kind of died so i kind of got off of it but Anyways, ignore this, I was like doing the mobile coin glitch, which I've kind of talked about in my um, previous videos. But, anyways, first, what you're going to want to do is think about what might sell. Now, when I say that, like, you have to think, what type of players would you say not only do a lot of people put up, but also a lot of people would put up for cheap. Now, what I thought, I'm just going to walk you through um, this filter that I came up with, but... What I knew is that a lot of people would put up elites for cheap. So after I knew that a lot of people were putting up elites for cheap because they weren't checking prices, the next thing you want to check is what type of players are worth a lot of money. Now, uh, what I kind of mean by that is like, for example, base elites are only worth about like 10k, but I know that 90 elites are worth a bunch. So there you go. So then I have 90 elites as the beginnings of this filter. It's just the very beginnings. Let's see, there's just a bunch of players and you don't really know what to do and after you get this again this could be like uh the gold kick return filter that was a great filter because people were putting up kick returns for like 5k and they were valuable which is the second step what's valuable because they were worth like 20k so then uh, a bunch of people were putting up there like four per round you would get like two per round and it was like a really good money making filter now once you get this at the sort of stage where you found players that people would put up for cheap and you've also found players that uh, are going to be worth uh, money yet people still put them up for cheap then you're going to start uh, with the price now normally uh, like what you do is like you just check random prices and see where they kind of limit at so 50k looks like a bunch of players are still up let's try uh, 35k I'll just get cut to the chase 35k so 35k and this is actually isn't a bad filter so uh but the problem is that look at all these uh michael bennett's and antonio browns they're kind of clogging up the filter and we don't really want that because like what's the point of a good filter if you got to scroll through all of these to find your good players so next thing is select the teams now uh this also would be included with select the positions but i'm not going to want to rule out dn because i think there's some good 90 plus dns but uh, let's just roll out the Seahawks because I know that uh, Seahawks players in general aren't worth that much money. Sorry, Seahawks fans that are watching this, but Seahawks, uh, Seahawks aren't worth that much money. Neither of the Steelers. There's not really that many good 90 plus Steelers that go for too much more than like 75k. So, and that'll take out the Antonio Brown for us. And there you have it. Uh, that was kind of how I derived this filter and uh, there's actually some pretty good drops. All right, so this is the filter that I came up with, and uh, again, it's not too bad. Uh, ooh, whoa, these would have been some, some good snipes. Like, that Chris Moore is worth, like, so much money. Man, I wish I was a... Uh, oh, my God, these dropped too. Nick Foles. Ah, uh, yeah, but, like, you're definitely going to want to... Um, another thing I would have recommended to add to the price is to um, take out, like, make it... Make it 1,000 to 35,000 because you're not going to get the ones that people put up for like 150 for no reason. Like, I mean, sure, they're good snipes, but I mean, realistically, you're not going to get those. But all right, so let's see if I can come up with uh, our own personal filter just like right on camera. So let's start with um, elite players. That's always a good start. All right, so we're going to do 93 players. And uh, yep, it looks like there, there's a bunch up. So then let's try 250K. Let's see if there's a bunch up for 250K. There is, and it looks like there's even some people putting up for 150k, so let's try 150k. Alright, looks pretty good. Looks like we're gonna have to take out half back because of this CJ Anderson and the Amon Green. We're not gonna want those, so take out half back. And we're left with this. Let's see, so we have a choice. We can either take out wide receivers, which I think won't be a smart decision because I think there's a lot of good. Actually, it might be it. Okay, so we're gonna take out O tackles and wide receivers. All right, so this might not be too bad. Uh, I'm actually gonna change this up and just take out the teams. Let's see. Let's try that because again, we're we're trying not to, we're trying to keep our uh, 
horizons or like uh, as many players as we can in this filter. Ooh, oh my gosh, I just missed such a good round. Ooh, I think this is a good snipe. Oh. Wow. All right, so I just found my uh, a good new filter. So yeah, like look at this round. This is exactly what we're looking for. We're looking for a round where a bunch of players, like people are putting these up for cheap and look, like that Marvin Harrison for 100k, I could probably get that, even me. So let's check this Marvin Harrison for uh, 300k. Look at that, not even 300k. He's gonna go for so much because ultimate freeze players, for some reason, they're going for so much. And like, not the out positions, but the uh, like uh, the ultimate freeze players aren't weren't out of position. Look at that, he's going for 600k, and I could have gotten that for 100k. That's just an example but anyways looks like i just found a really sweet filter i'm liking this this is a good filter so all teams except for green bay pittsburgh oakland all positions except for halfback of of course elite 93 and yeah these are some good rounds because each of these legends right here could probably go for like 200k i tried to get that hunter henry i was kind of late but yeah so there you go so i just developed my own filter that's just how easy it is uh, to make your own filter and once you get this own filter uh that's not on a youtube video you're gonna make so many coins just because you're the only one on this filter uh, it's pretty low chances that you're on the same filter unless you're on a common filter like kickers for 70 7500 but again uh these are just some of the tips you don't have to follow this whole uh start with elites or start with gold you can just go off the promos go off whatever you just got uh, the most important step is, of course, the first one. You just have to have a decent idea of what uh, players are worth a lot, yet people will put them up for cheap, which, of course, is elites, special teams, maybe rare headliners. A lot of people don't know about the rare headliners. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video and you want to see more videos like it, go subscribe, go join the Mag Squad. Go like, go comment, and I'll see you all next video.